So when you're doing your bodybuilding activation exercises, the important things to keep in mind are isolation and light, all right? The specific exercises that you do don't really matter. And honestly, I like to change them up every time I come to the gym, just for variety, for, for my own mental sake, to keep me excited about doing activation exercises, which honestly should not be that physically challenging. They're more mentally challenging, more they demand more focus, but they're not gonna push your body all that hard. That said, if in doubt, bands are usually a great tool for activation exercises. And honestly, when it comes to your upper body, you can do pretty much anything you need in terms of activation with just a, a light band like this one. So I talked earlier about how I like to do flies if I'm going to be training some heavier compound pressing movements. And I'll show you how I do that with a band. Just loop the band around my back. And then when I'm doing this movement, I'm really focusing on squeezing my chest. I try to almost touch my biceps together. And then I'm really gonna accentuate the negative, try and get that stretch, okay? That, this is kind of the tempo that I'm using for activation. It's very slow, I'm getting a good squeeze, but I'm not that concerned about how much weight I'm using or how hard I'm pushing. Again, you can do this for almost any muscle in your upper body. So if I wanna focus on my rear delts, for example, I can do um, bent forward band pull apart. So I'll lean forward, I'll keep my abs tight, and I'll use my rear delts to pull the bar, pull, pull the band apart. If I wanna do my medial delts, my side delts, I can step on one end of the band and I can do lateral raises, okay? Again, this is super light. I could do this all day long, I don't want to, but that's not the point. The point is just, to get me feeling my delts working. Again, if I were to do curls, stand on one end of the band, you can do curls. Now the thing is, this is a great tool, especially if you travel, because you might not know what type of equipment you're gonna have access to, and if you bring pack one of these in your suitcase, then you have very easy access to all the tools that you need for activation exercises. It's a little bit different when it comes to lower body because for the lower body, you're, you can usually handle heavier weights and so a band might not get the job done. In those cases, just stick with standard isolation exercises. Things like leg extensions and leg curls are perfectly sufficient because honestly, when you're using a heavy weight in a squat, there's no way that you're not activating your entire lower body. There's no way you're not working your quads, your glutes and your hamstrings, at least to some extent. So that covers the bodybuilding aspects of my warmup. Uh, I wanna move into the powerlifting ones, which like I said, for general warm up, it can be a lot more extensive. So I'm gonna start off with some type of dynamic stretching. Again, this is after the cardiovascular activity. Again, the dynamic stretch that in particular that you choose is not that important. What is important is that while you're performing the exercise, you're focusing on the movement and your body as a whole. You are not focusing on individual muscles like you are when you're doing those activation exercises, okay? So for example, if I'm gonna do a dynamic stretch for my upper body, it's probably gonna be something like shoulder circles, right? How I do these shoulder circles is very, very important. So I could be doing them rolling my arms around. And I think that's usually what you'll see people do. It's not effective, not effective. What you need to do, have your proper brace position. And we'll talk about this a little bit later. You're especially gonna focus on your obliques because you're training a unilateral movement can be very easy to let these obliques kind of sag, to just hang out there. And then again, you're not getting the type of activation that you actually want. And from here, as I do these circles, it's a very deliberate movement. I'm feeling the stretch of my pecs. I'm feeling the stretch of my rear delts. And when I reverse the muscles, I feel how I need to keep my glutes tighter to keep my balance, right? Keeping my abs, keeping my core brace the entire time. It's the same exact thing when you're doing lower body, whether you're doing leg swings, whether you're doing lunges, you need to make sure that you're focusing on your body as a whole. After you do these dynamic stretches, you're gonna go back to your band. This time, you probably want a little bit of a heavier band, and I happen to have one right here. So you're gonna use this to get a little bit of extra distraction on the joint, and all that's gonna do is help you to accentuate that same stretching motion that you're doing with whatever dynamic movement you were doing before. You might have to be a little bit creative here, right? For me, for example, if I want to do a dynamic stretch for my shoulders, what I'm gonna do is anchor the band around something stable, get it around my shoulder joint, make sure I had that same core activation, and then I'm gonna do my arm circle really pushing into this band. And I'm using the band to pull my shoulder back into a good position 
while I do this circle, right? It's pulling my scapula back into a retracted position, which is the position I want to keep whether I'm doing a squat, a bench press, or a deadlift. Although in a deadlift, it'll be a little bit less accentuated. So again, you can use that. You can use that same type of philosophy for your lower body as well. You might have to be a little bit more creative with it, um, but again, you can use the band as distraction around your hip, around your knee, around pretty much any joint in your lower body. I really like it for ankles. After you do all of that, then pretty much you should be warm and ready more or less to move on to a compound movement. However, like I mentioned, I do like to hit some abs beforehand, and that's what we're gonna talk about next.